All right. Um. Right. So here I don't want any of these. I don't think. I mean, it'll be an oh, an adequate use of the swap here, I guess. But I mean, it's easier to just almost use that. Skip it. Wayfinder for Yolne. See, this is so useless. I would probably actually take that, even though I don't really want that. Oh shit! Shark Chariot for Mark of the Isle. Oh, that's a useful card for a useful card. Um. And a a card for garbage. I want one shark chariot in this deck, at least one. Just having one always going off is very handy. Uh, Mark of the Offering, no. Uh, Spectrum Matron for fading memories. I've never even played this thing. <laughs> Like, I mean, I guess it could be useful. Or is this one not so much? Like, I don't know what I would use this on. Shark Chariot, which I have one of. This is a temporary whatever, I guess. It would buff itself, and in theory I could swap it. It's super useful in specific decks. Not necessarily this one is the problem. I mean, I could have a temporary Hecarim. Which is just like a whole bunch of ghosts showing up at once, I suppose. Um, I mean, technically I could do this. Scuttlegeist would make future Scuttlegeist cheaper. Iron Harbinger would buff itself. Not really. Like, it's all, it's largely dependent on me being able to swap afterwards or forcing the opponent to take a dumb trade. That's the thing about Ephemeral. If you just throw them out there and the person trades for them, it's great and all, but basically if the person's like, eh, whatever, I'll eat the damage, and you're just minus cards. Like, you just keep losing hand advantage. Like, it's either you already have them in a bad position where they're forced to block or something, but... Cycles, yeah, well, that's the thing. It's just a cycle at that point for two damage. And I'm trading Spectral Matron for that. Like, it's not a horrible card. It's almost like a neutral card, in a sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. You can technically... Yeah, I actually saw that. Uh, I didn't realize that until about last week. Maybe it was two weeks ago. Yeah, that can be used on the opponent. It's also... There's another uh, similar one where it's like you can use... Actually, there's like three cards. Two of them, there's like a Transmogrify thing, and then there's also the other one. Um, the cat that turns into whatever. In any case, all of these are no. Um, this is really the only one I want to consider. How strong is my late game beyond Hecarim? I mean, it, obviously Hecarim's really good. Like, the game kind of ends at Hecarim, doesn't it? I don't know how useful this would be if it goes that late. Like, he's, she's certainly not... Any of the other high... Of all the, um... What's gonna call it? Shadow Elf high-cost cards? She's probably... I don't want to say the most useless, but definitely the most niche. The other ones just, like, show up and wreck face. Like, she's pseudo-tempo, but... It also requires something in hand, specifically, so it's like, if you're top-decking by that point... I mean, I do want to try it because I never actually have tried it, but I can see, like, this showing up late game when I need something good. I'm like, well, it's a late game card, but it actually doesn't do anything for me. I think the only, like, real big play we get out of that is, like, I happen to have a Hecarim still in hand and then cast that at 8. Um... Yeah. I don't know. Zed tends to be kind of dead weight late game. 
he's not dead weight, but he's not the most useful thing. Like, he's just a tiny little T3-2, you know, when everyone's summoning things at, like, 6-6 six, six and shit like that. It's like, and they sneeze in Zed's direction, he blows up. Yeah. I guess I could do this. It does lower my creature count. Would it flip it? Uh, it should. If you're talking about an ephemeral Zed, it should work that way. Let me just double check the wording here. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure extra ones you create by flopping stuff, or, you know, they count too. I haven't actually done that, I don't think, but... Yeah, I, I think... Yeah. I don't want to go as far as say it's like a dead card. Like, it is a 6-6 six, six of Fearsome, but... It, I think this is pretty underwhelming as an 8-drop, whereas this, I could theoretically use it at some point. Yeah, let's run it. Stand United. Uh, I mean, that could be funny. Alright, Harbinger, not really. Shark Chirrut for Onslaught of Shadows. Now, that's an interesting potential trade there. Uh, so we could do that. I don't know how much gotcha kind of thing I have in this deck, but... Another Shark Chair would be nice. I mean, this... It is a burst barrier. People might not expect that in this style of deck. Who would I use it on? Harbinger I would like to keep alive, but I only have one of them. Um, I guess I could use it on Zed or Hecarim. Technically, this guy... I really want to get rid of this. If I could get rid of this, it'd be phenomenal. Oh, should I have four of these guys? I didn't realize that. I thought I had like three or something, but... Honestly, Onslaught of Shadows is like a little bit on the hard side to use. If I didn't have to consider this, I would take that. Yeah. It isn't like an amusing surprise factor. So this is like consistency over potentially some kind of massive play that really catches people off guard. But it's not specialized to deal with these. Like, it's not especially useful in this kind of deck. Because it doesn't, like, really synergize. Yeah, I, I'm really leaning towards the Shark Chariot. Like, if, it, if there were things I was, like, really hellbent on keeping alive, then I could do this, but... The idea behind most of these things, I don't really care if they die. I mean, I guess it's a case of, like, I don't care if thing, most things die, but there's a certain core that I like to keep. But fuck it. Shark Chariot. Well, that made that easy. So there's the Fading Memories of the Death Mark. That puts me at three Death Marks, right? Oh, it puts me at two. I thought I took another one in the past. Apparently I didn't. Um, yep. All right. Shadow Shift for Will of Ionia. Another Death Mark. Mark of the Isle for another Shark Chariot. Mm. Suddenly, like, this deck has been okay without Shark Chariots, and suddenly it's turning into a Shark Chariot deck. It's tempting, though. I mean, I because that's I only have two of those. It's really tempting. Yeah, but Shark Chariots are fun. <laughs> like, they just keep going. I think this is my favorite card in the game. Ugh. But yeah, I don't want to be sitting on just two, one mark. I, these are really good. Um, The Dawn and Dusk. How many of these do I have? The spell for a spell. 
I would say Dawn Death Marcus here is way more consistent. Oh, I only have one at this point. What the hell did I trade it for? How many Death Marks do I have? I have two. I don't know. Death Marks are either like devastating or hard countered. Kind of one or the other. Like they can screw me over. They can like really mess up an opponent. Obviously, that's not like we're not going to do anything there. That's, that, I'm not. Yeah, I don't care about that. The only question is this. Now, what six drops? Man, this is like a. What six drops am I left with here? It's just Hecarim plus the Shadow Flare. This card was like quite useful once. Well, three dead. I mean, they can all be useful. Like, I just have to find a way to swap them, and they're pretty easy to swap. Like, worst case scenario, you know, I get a whole bunch of things like Haunted Relics and Sharks and just have permanent tokens, and his stuff dies at least. But man, I could also summon a million sharks. <laughs> Urgh, this is... The thing is, having too many sharks is also not necessarily a great thing, either. No, I'm gonna keep it. I think I could use one of them in the deck, at least. Well, I don't know. What are primary targets? Let's think about this for just a quick second here. Sh um, shark Chariot's an okay target for that. Um, Soul Shepherds are not horrible. Iron Harbingers are kind of okay. Like, they buff themselves when they attack. Especially if the original is already pre-buffed. Um, Zed is a decent target. This could be an okay target. Hecarim is obviously a good target. Anything pre-buffed with that is quite a good target. I just really want three death marks. You know what? Two death marks is fine. I think I'm actually going to skip this trade. It's as annoying as that is, because I'd like... Man, why couldn't these traded for some other dead cards? God, fucking... Like this? If I could get that out of there and get either of these, that would have been phenomenal. But... Green Glade? Oh, eh, I mean, it'd be okay. It's a pretty desperate use of it, but... Wait, it wouldn't buff itself, would it? I mean, it would buff the original, technically, but... Yeah, I'm assuming the original gets buffed after they show up. So the... the you know... Whatever, I'm gonna skip it, fuck it. Necrom Callista, no... Oh, there we go! Wayfinder, Ethereal Remitter, how useful is that? So that's an no. This is a complete dead card, how useful is this one? Kill an ally, summon a random follower from any region. Um, so what are we going to be looking to kill here? Potentially this if it gets low. Phantom Prankster, if I don't have a use for it, becomes a 5 drop. Shadow Assassin would become a 5 drop after I've already swapped it. Um, one of these. Well, I mean, have you done it? Like, what? what's the order here? Does it buff the unit before they show up and then they're copies of the buffed one? Or do they show up as copies of the original and then buff the original? Hey, Super Moose. Are you seeing all this? I've seen so few of them. I run into, like, nothing but, uh, well, your character, Ka Catalina, and a lot of Grands. That's kind of it. I gotta play more though. I gotta like really play this. You're going to yeah yeah. I'm pretty sure we talked about this. You're going to bash, right? Ba yeah, bash. Um, I think it's really yeah. Any any of these so that would become a seven drop. I wouldn't mind trading that there. Oh, there goes our last four drop. Okay, hey, good. Finally got rid of the dead card. It's not the most useful thing there, but all right. It's the final battle. Let's see what we get.
Is that a... Wait, you're seeing Lancelot. I sound like... I played uh, Mithra for like the first time since day one. I had no idea what the hell she was doing. That looks annoying. What is this? Is he like literally all... How many champions? So he's four Zeds in the deck? It's crazy. Um... This is not the worst I've seen. I guess I could keep it. Yeah, either he hasn't been taking champions, or he just has like a million Zeds, and I don't know which. Both seem rather frightening. Um... That can actually stop Zed on his own, interestingly. Maybe I should have saved man. Everything's better with company. Says you. That. Do not fear. Yeah, I can get free damage here. I, d I doubt he'll block there. 2v2? No, I'm not going on Friday, so. I, like, I have to figure out a team and register last second. And, um, that's like. <laughs> 45 extra dollars for a team thing, so... I should probably also be streaming on Saturday. Like, I can take Sun... Or, rather, Friday. I can take Saturday off and, and you know, go to a tournament once, but... Uh, so he can't... I could tempt him into blocking here. The thing is, if I summon this, he's not going to attack. But if he doesn't attack... I can buff the shit out of it, and then swap. Unless he- no, with one mana, I don't think he can do anything with these factions. I mean, it's not great, but... Frostbite is like two man, I think, isn't it? I still have none of my ephemeral shit, which is really weird. Um, and all this stuff. I guess I could just try. No, I can't actually cast everything here. I guess I summon this and keep drawing. I don't know. The dark I'm not super pressed to do anything at the moment. I could make a huge ass elusive unit. Okay, he's gonna bury or something. Who knows what? It's probably gonna be a Zed or something, if I had to guess. Uh, Welcome hey. to the sponsors. Hosta Cat Gaming, thank you very much for the uh the subscription. Give me half a second and I will address that, of course. Very kind of you. I can't trade that for that. The question is, does he trade that for that? They cannot hide. I'm gonna say I'm comfortable with this. Hey, he didn't. There's always a way out. So he's gonna try and buff the shit out of the Zed in hand, I'm assuming. It's, um... Yeah, that must be. He's probably got, like, what is it, a 5-4 Zed or something like that in hand? That's gonna be pre-barriered. I had to guess. Here it comes. Move one sprint for each crab, I saw Whatever he's got in hand, it's pretty beefy here. <laughs> now the question becomes... How much do I need to get... Like, I, whatever he has in hand there, I can get rid of it, probably. Um, it's just how much do I want to invest in wiping out these things? Because I can still make it ephemeral, is the thing. Um, I think I'm content with just doing this for now. The Yordle 
here is with me. If I have to do any kind of swappy stuff, I still do have the mana to work with. Quiet you now. It's a pretty big tempo play, and he'll be very tempted to just dump that Zed down. It goes to five, right? It's still barely alive is the thing. See, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I still have another trade here, so it's fine. Okay, there we go. He can't block anything. Um, so he probably summons the Zed here, if I had to guess. I could send a shark out just for the sake of being a shark. Or busy whatever he's buffing the shit out of. I don't know what it is, but... Um, if I do that, I have five mana left. I can still do any kind of swapping thing. I would perf... Er, well, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Worst case scenario, I have to, like, wait a turn or something. Without a sound. So he's got a lot of... He could counterspell me here is the problem. Um... If he does anything else, how much damage is this? Not actually quite lethal. Technically, if I attacked with everything and he blocked weirdly, I could kill him here, but that's probably not going to work, so let's just attack with everything. I am a true master. What's this? Whatever it is, make it big, please. Okay, he's out of mana. Perfect. Uh, so we buff you, right? Why not? Okay, that's Zed number two down. <laughs> And he sent that back to hand, too, which means I can keep drawing. So that was a pretty big investment in his part. Granted, they were all free effects, but he spent a lot of his time trying to get that going, so... Whose fault will mark my passage? Well, we can at least make him pay here by, uh... I don't think I'm going to draw anything that will save this. It's simply going to die. So I think we make him take the one damage here. That's my best case scenario. It's playtime. There it goes. Here again. Let's keep drawing. Silent as death. Although the shark would have been nice, but it's fine. Oh, okay, I still have that waiting in the wings. If I make something ephemeral here and attack with it, um, I would get a free shark. Technically. This guy showing up would buff himself, but I don't... I mean, that would be funny. I could potentially just straight up kill him here with that. I think I'm actually going to do that. Oh, fuck! No, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> No, 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 that's the other spell. God. Okay, just not do stupid things here, please. The problem with this is not necessarily lethal, right? So I may want to just see what I can draw here. Yeah, let's do it that way. If I don't get anything better, we're summoning these things anyway. Okay, well, I just got another one. Um, so he's on a bit of a countdown at the moment. I'll do what must be done. Okay. 
That's probably for the best there, you know. So yeah, I can summon that, and then it gets five more damage, I guess. I don't really see a better use here. I mean, I could attack with that and then be annoying, but it really wouldn't do anything. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's expose him to the power of our order. The spirits thing? What? Are we doing that? Let's get that through. Five more damage, or four more damage. So it's also to the point here where he's really got to watch out because of that. Like, if stuff just dies. Okay. Another resource of his gone, at least. Um, I can chump block until the end of time. If he keeps attacking, if he like, tries to attack with that. There's Hecarim. It's pretty massive. I have how much mana to work with? Eleven. So I can't do both, obviously. Um. The blade above all. I think it's just worth getting rid of that, to be honest. Alternatively, I could summon this and just kill it next turn. It does give him time, but at least... You know what? No, fuck it. I don't know. This card is just like... It's not super threatening. It's annoying. But it's not the end of the world. How much damage? Is this like four? See, it's still only eight in terms of the damage I can deal in a single turn if I do this. I'm going to play it safe. He could have something so huge that I just can't deal with it. Um, and this is the only way. I'm concerned with spells he has in hand. That's the thing. I, I'm playing it safely. Which could bite me in the ass. But we'll see. I know I can swing for lethal is the thing. It's just, again, if you can deny it, it's, I'm not in the greatest spot. Uh, so I guess we'll just play this. Like, this is technically lethal. If he doesn't have a way of nuking shit out of the sky or freezing it... Um, I mean, at least it dies. I'm gonna pass. It's fine. It's another soul shepherd. I mean, he certainly doesn't have judgment. So this should be lethal. But just his deck is strange, so I'm just not... Well, he could also keep mass stunning me is the problem, too, right? So he might... That is fine. You're gonna go make sure he dies there. Or hopefully dies. Oh, he comes with a shark, doesn't he? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I can only get one more thing through. Um, which is gonna get blocked by that anyway. But he has to probably block, yeah, one of these things. So let's get an extra thing out. That's fine. This should do the trick. Very well. How did that move go? Okay, still negative nine. This isn't part of the training. That's gonna overrun you anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. You probably have to block that there, but we'll see. Does he have the double freeze? That saves him, right? Actually, single freeze would save him, too, I think. No, no, double. Okay, we got him. Good.
But yeah, the, the extra ephemeral stuff. So, hey, so that deck actually ended up going uh, the full seven. Not bad. Take it, I guess. Oh, yeah, we're still getting Freljord cards. Trial complete. Uh, was that game trial one or trial two? I think it was trial one, wasn't it? 